talk about molecules, we need a way to know what we're talking about. Instead of saying CO2 or CO all the time, we give them names like carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide. The names tell us how many of each atom are present in each molecule of the compound. I'll show you how to name binary molecules because they're fairly simple to name and they're used often in chemistry. Binary means two. If you know anything about binary code, you know that it uses only two numbers, zero and one. Binary molecules are molecules with just two elements. Then we use prefixes to show how many of each atom there are. I'll show you the prefix and the number it represents up to eight. Prefixes are used at the front of words when you name molecules. Mono means one, but it's really only used with oxygen. Di is two, tri is three, tetra, four, penta, five, and for six, we say hexa, not sexto. Just remember, there's no sex in chemistry. You learn about that in biology. Hepto is seven, and octo is eight. The numbers go farther than this, but you can look them up. Once you know the prefixes, the naming process is pretty easy. Let's use CO2 as our example. We have one carbon and two oxygens, so oxygen will get the prefix of di. This is carbon dioxide. The second word always ends in ide, I-D-E. Let's try another one. N2H4. N stands for nitrogen, and there are two of them, so we'll write dinitrogen. H stands for hydrogen, and there are four of them, so the second word is tetrahydride. Now you can also figure out the formula based on the name. Let's start with something sort of familiar, dinitrogen tetroxide. Di means two and tetra means four, so we have N2O4. Let's try another one. Dihydrogen monoxide. Di means two, mono is one, so this is H2O. Oh wait, you know that one, it's water. It's actually perfectly acceptable to call this water instead of dihydrogen monoxide. A few other chemicals are referred to by their common names more than their binary molecular formulas like methane and ammonia. Let's try another one. Sulfur hexafluoride. Sulfur is by itself without a prefix, so there's only one. And hexa means six, so we drop the i to see that this is fluorine, and we get the formula of SF6. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.